Brown fought it all the way to the bank almost and didn't commit and they're just, oh, he got it, he got it right there. Oh God. What is up, members? and welcome back to our Riverside yurt situation. As you guys can tell, it has been snowing. It has been snowing for probably 18 hours straight now. We've now accumulated, I don't even know how many inches of snow. It is freaking crazy out here. Yes, you can see my breath. It's like 30, 35 degrees and the snow just is not stopping. So you can see on the cliffs back behind me, these same cliffs that were over 100 degrees a couple days ago, uh, they are now covered in accumulating snow. Freaking craziness. You guys followed along last time. Becky, Osborne, and I are staying in this yurt right here, which is absolutely badass indoors. We'll go say hi to them in a little bit. Um, today we're going to be doing some fishing. We're going to be doing some cooking right here next to this creek. This view is absolutely incredible. And the best thing is I caught fish right back there yesterday and then right up there the day after that. Also, one thing to let you guys know, I have a very exclusive piece of merch I'm wearing right now. You guys are probably seeing my camo hoodie right here. I've never ever released this camo hoodie brand new on the market. You know, it might not be snowing where you guys are quite yet, but I will let you know that it is probably going to be cold very, very soon, no matter where you are in the country and it is freaking hoodie weather. So this is an exclusive Millican fishing hoodie. Once they're gone, they are freaking gone until they come back. A lot of times that takes several months to get back in stock. So please hit the link in the top description, go over to MillicanFishing.com and uh, pick up some MF or merch if you haven't gotten any yet. Also, don't forget to uh, screenshot that order. Or even better, take a picture of you guys wearing some of your Millican fishing merch and send it to me. I'll repost it on Instagram, Facebook, all my stories and everything. And I just appreciate you guys letting me be able to go places like this and get some content. Okay, you guys are probably wondering what the hell we are going to eat, and that is where I'm gonna have to take you to some fishing. I caught some great fish, fishing a stretch just right up there yesterday. So without further ado, let's go do some fishing and then come back here and we'll cook up what we caught. All right, Mr. Provoke, looks good for you. Deep pool right here, mm-hmm. Oh, we got it. He came up to the top and got it. On the drip bait. Yes. That was so sick. What kind is it? Looks like a big brown. Looks like a brown. And I think it is a brown. It is brown. Hell yeah. Beautiful brown on the old Provoke. And of course, out of their damn minds. As always, look at that fish. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Finally got one on the jerkbait. I was about to take this thing off. I didn't think it was gonna happen. Was not planning to keep these, but you got that middle hook way up there. Look. Oh, he's trying to kill me. He was hooked deep in the gills, so definitely gonna be keeping him. All right, we got more lunch, probably a 18 inch brown or so put them in the old waterland dry bag that's what i was using last time deal feels good to be back getting bit on the old provoke guy again i don't know if i just need to throw downstream or what the deal is but that guy liked it downstream let's try downstream some more All right, that's the second follow I've had on this thing. Big one, big brown, followed it all the way to the bank almost and didn't commit and they're just, oh, he got it, he got it right there. Oh God, yes. Oh my God, that was epic. I watched him eat it. Come here, bud, come here, bud. He must have followed it and then just been sitting there. Look at that guy incredible we got two in the freaking bag the old provoke jerk bait is getting it done today I'll, you know what i'm gonna give the assist on that one to the old waterland sunglasses it's cloudy today so i'm wearing the green mirror amber lenses which is perfect for low light conditions water's really clean um not the cleanest creek water i've seen but these trout camouflage so well and just out of the corner of my eye I saw that guy fall my jerk bait all the way in. And so that, that last time when I was talking to you guys, telling you that I might have to make some adjustments, I was gonna maybe put a little hair jig on or something, which I still probably am gonna do. Um, I just stopped that jerk bait, was kind of twitching it, and I watched him just roll over and set the hook 
right at the perfect time because these trout are super wily. They've been just popping my jerk bait all morning, not committing to it all the way, which is crazy because they're all 18 to, I don't know how big, 24, 26 inch fish. I do freaking love catching them on the jerk bait though. Easily my favorite trout bait because they don't see them hardly ever. Everyone fly fishes, you know, stuff like that. I like doing different things. All right, time for a tactical change. Keep having fish, just peck at the bait. We're gonna switch up to uh, these guys, back to the White River Zig Jigs, as they call them. I freaking love this color. A couple different colors, a green pumpkin in there with a gold flashy head. I thought it looked cool, and then I went online and they have like four or five different models of hair jigs you can buy, and all of the models and sizes, except for that one, were sold out in that color so i figured you know you guys know something right got a really solid brown on this the other day crazy you put it in the water and i don't know if you guys can see that it don't look like much but they eat it so i'm not gonna argue also a biatched cast as it is a 1 16th ounce size but the old mefer stick can whip it out there a little bit these hair jigs for trout, a lot of guys will actually cast them downstream and quarter them downstream. So we'll kind of mix up our presentation. But basically, you just want it to fall and, and just come with the current naturally, as naturally as possible. That's how I was figuring out what they wanted when I was getting bit the other day on it. Obviously, with current fishing, you want everything to be as natural and with the current as they're used to seeing as possible. But especially true for a little finesse bait like this hair jig, which seems like it might be really not easy to fish in this super strong wind this place is not ugly the old yurt's right there behind the sticks i'm just gonna i'm gonna rip them becky and ozzy are already taking a nap yeah we're gonna have to get wet for this cast okay works for me That was sketchy. We risked it, but I think we're gonna get the biscuit now. Cause this spot over here is fire. Looks fire. I don't know if it actually is fire. It's a sexy deep pool. I know that. Let's see if we can get a jerk bit fish. Oh, it's cold. Shit. There we go. There we go. Yes little guy just a little guy definitely not a keeper guy little rainbow sweet jerkbait rainbow that's a wild rainbow too look at those fins sweet beautiful fish get the old provoke out of there get him back in isn't that crazy a 14 to 15 inch trout will eat something this size brilliant visual eaters will come up in crystal clear water and eat something with three big treble hooks on it just interesting well as much as the old hair jig seemed like the damn move and so much freaking cooler to throw guess i'm gonna go back to old school mr panther martin stupid i don't know why they eat these dumb inline spinners something about them just triggers these trout got those two good ones on it right here last night i don't know Got some damn fussy trouts today, guys. We're doing one last ditch effort. I think we're gonna go the opposite way of what I probably should go, which is smaller. We're gonna go bigger. Let's throw this mag draft in there. This was a killer for me. Wow, extra wide gap hook. Oh, and I can need that. This was a killer for me though, the smallest ice slide size down fishing the White River every time i go so let's see if they'll eat it here just a little eye slide guy i don't really know what that's going to represent as far as what they're eating but i guess it just needs to look like food that one of them hasn't ever seen before and get one to make a mistake but it seemed like every time when i fished in arkansas give them something different and some fish just react better to this bigger swim bait style profile i'd be surprised if they had seen one of these before really surprised
eat it. Hey, we gotta follow. I am not warm right now, but these guys are gonna be delicious, so I'm okay. I don't think the bite's fire or even good by any means right now, but fish were just kind of slapping at the baits this morning. Still managed to get two beautiful browns. I don't know the exact measurements, but good ones, 18 to 20 inches. They are one of the most beautiful and best tasting freshwater fish that I know of, without question. So far, definitely one of the best fisheries I've been to that isn't hard to get to. It's not fished very hard, it doesn't seem like, especially when the temperature drops 75 degrees in a day. I can't complain about there being a million fishermen out every day when it's beautiful weather all summer, and then not at least appreciate when there's not, when there's crappy weather, right? That's, uh, that's gonna be a lot of meat. This one is a, uh, a female brown trout. The females have a lot lighter, more silvery bodies. They don't usually get the super distinct like orange spots. They have all the other spots, but not the orange ones. And uh, they don't get super, super pumpkin-y orange like they will when they're spawning here in a couple weeks. And of course, the mouth kind of stays its normal shape. It doesn't get the big kiped bill on it. But I love brown trout. And they're one of my favorites to eat, which I said already, but excited for this meal. It's freaking cold outside, but when I come to a place like this, I don't want to be done. I just want to keep fishing. It's freaking amazing scenery. And I love current fishing when the fish set up, you know, kind of like they're supposed to. We don't have any good current around Omaha. The Missouri River is right there, but it's only good for catfish pretty much, unless you go way north like we've been doing. Now I do not have my fillet knife, but when you do them whole like this, the old six cents says you get it done too. Just as good, right? Obviously, we would not be keeping these if they were probably over 22 inches or so. Then they start getting a little bit more trophy-like. But anything under that, this size, you can keep five. Also, if you're wondering where we're at in relation to Becky and Ozzy, right there, they're in the yurt, just chill. All right guys, we're going to attempt to cook some trout in the snow on the riverside. At least we got this badass freaking grill right here that has burners right there. We got snow coming down, so I don't know how well this is gonna work, but it should be pretty damn good. I decided for the ease of cooking these guys, um, I was gonna fillet them. So I filleted two of these brown trout and then I cut those fillets in half and I left the skin on them because the skin the last few times I've eaten trout has been absolutely delicious. We're gonna do our just basic same old battering stuff. So we're gonna use some shore lunch spicy buffalo style trout. God dang, that's gonna be freaking good. I just hope we can keep the oil hot on top of this little grill situation right here, this burner situation. Over 100 degrees yesterday, guys. I cannot make this up. And there you go. You got some slush. Let's see what this guy looks like. Definitely some snow hitting him. But will the light is the question. Oh, she lit. All right. Down there. We probably want as hot as it goes. The wind's at least gone down, but God, it's already accumulating some snow in there. Wish I could move this thing, but it appears to be heavy. So far, so good. Little canola oil going. More than a little. I'm not kidding you, this stuff. It's the shit. Oil's getting hot. It's got some snow going in it, so that's interesting, but definitely getting hot. Blaze cracking in there. So 
quick change of plans. It was getting so much water dumped into it from the snow right out there that didn't think it was probably a good idea to have like half oil, half water to cook in. I actually just picked up this little attachment dude at the old REI in town there, Colorado Springs the other day. So heat some oil back up and uh, yeah, it's already there. Oil is smoking hot. Let me get these guys dropped in. Oh yes. Where are you going? Check this out, guys. A little foggy on the lens there. She lives! What do you think? It's a little chilly. It was uh, 85 degrees warmer 24 hours ago. There, it is sticking now. It's sticking. Top of these mountains up there actually has some snow accumulating on them. How is this possible? I'm just gonna try to focus on this for now. Don't ever hardly cook trout this way. But since their skin's so damn good, oh yeah. Golden brown, they're definitely ready to flip. Like I was saying though, their skin tastes so freaking good fried out that I just left it on this time. I didn't even flame up. Uh oh, sounds like I got a helper. Is there a helper over there? Mom, you just brought a blanket out. Why'd you bring Oh, there is a baby in there. Hi, bud. Baby in a blanket. What do you think about the snow, Oz? Ozzy was, in fact, alive for one <laughs> snow. This is kind of his first snow, again, Look even though that. I don't think he can even function and understand this, but no. it is coming down. What do you think, bud? <sighs> this Pretty is cool. bizarre. This would be crazy like two months from now, but the fact that it was over 100 degrees yesterday hurts my little baby brain. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be good. Oh, look, it's a snow puppy. What are you doing? What do you think? Confused? So am I. Fish fry beer of the day is the Escape IPA. Um, that's from Epic Brewing. I believe right here in Colorado, obviously. Yeah, there's a Colorado flag on it. It's from Colorado. Tastes a little bit like fish batter that's on my fingers, but is what it is. Actually, it's really freaking good. Here's a very clean fork for you. It hasn't been washed in the last 15 times I've used it. Where's my tartar sauce? I think you need some tartar sauce. I fried it but left the skin on it. Something different. Need some tartar. On fire still. Deal. <laughs> it's smoking! Like a dragon. Besides melting your tongue off, does it taste okay? It's pretty terrible. Hot buffalo mm -hmm. is the uh, seasoning. Can you taste that? No. Perfect. I have this cranked as high as it'll go. I had Very to... good. Good, good. I had said too many nice things about this cooker, so now it doesn't want to be as hot as I need it to be. Currently just waiting for this second to last batch of fish to fry up. Had Becky try some of the fish. Delicious. Super hot, but delicious. I might have accidentally tried a little bit of it myself. And it is, just like this beer company, epic. Can't say enough about this situation that's happening back behind me. Luckily, I've got this little overhang guy that uh, is keeping a lot of the snow out. It is dripping through every once in a while, so the oil's not staying quite as hot as it could be to add to being around 30 degree temperatures as well. You know, we travel all over the place, get cool content, go cool places like this a decent amount of the time, but it's kind of cool that we're cooking fish that we caught right, right about there. Craziness. <laughs> 